Hello and welcome back to Sky Bees, a Minecraft mod pack uh, that involves bees. <laughs> it's just uh, kind of comical. All right, let's get the UI back on, get back in first person. Okay, so I did a little book reading on the uh, 50 Shades of Bees constantly. Uh, I've been trying to figure it out. I, I think I finally got a grasp on what I need to do. So I need to make this multi-block structure within this. I kind of figured out the uh, the layout, right? So it's uh, walls, 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 and then a uh, a roof. So we're going to put glass, make it kind of nice. And then this is all going to be dirt. And we can, uh, if I anchor it like right on that block, you can kind of see the multi-block right there. And that just took me a while to figure it all out. And then we need some things to go there. So I don't know if I need to make like one of these per B type or not, but uh, we're going to start with that. So what we're going to do is uh, get, we're going to have to get this uh, cleaned out and get the B moved. And so there's a bunch of things we need to do to get to that. So let's go ahead and uh, go over here. So here, where's my H? All right, so we need to make another buzzing doll to make another bee, um, but we can't do that because we don't have any yellow dye, and I don't, I don't want to go through and shiv a bunch of uh, sieve, whatever, a bunch of uh, dust just to try to get bone meal, and it's, it's a whole ordeal. But these hopping botany plants, uh, botany pots, whatever they are, are fairly easy to make, and you can put a yellow flower. There we go. You can put a yellow flower in it on grass and you will get two yellow flowers back. You put it's a hopper one, so I can put a drawer under it, and so it's just gonna fill it up. Uh so I want to try that and see if that I can kind of like automate that so I don't have to actually do anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab here, let's get let's get all that out of my bags, stack those on there. Okay. Uh, let's grab our terracotta, our bricks, our glass, uh, all the plants we're going to do, some shears, some sand, dirt, oak, cactus, like that. All right, so first things first, we go over here I make, uh, let's make, we need a hopper. I forgot to make hoppers, obviously, make a flower pot. And one of those. Okay, so we got that. Soul sand. That's another process. Okay. So let's go over here to our... We have an empty drawer right here. We'll just pop it down right there. I made a bunch of terracotta. It's like, it's tedious to make stuff in this pack so far. <laughs> like, uh, beyond normal levels that I'm, uh, I'm used to. That could just be the way it is. So we just drop down some dirt there we go and that takes a minute to get two flowers so we'll do let that just sit there let's drop uh let's go ahead and drop a few of these down uh i kind of want to do all my storage over here so we we're gonna need uh, a few more let's go ahead and do that um seems like a pretty uh pretty effective way if it works out the way i think it's going to work to uh to make these let's make like Ten of those, and then let's make ten of ah, son of a gun. Nine of those. There we go. And then could only make seven. Oh, I didn't have enough bricks. That's fine. It's kind of a long-term process. Making clay is uh, quite an ordeal. So let's drop these. And it looks like that worked. We got uh, flowers in there. Let's see how many we got. We got one, so it's like a, I guess, percentage chance. All right, that should be good. So, what else do I have on us? Uh, so we have sand. So let's drop one sand in there. Let's just get cactus. There we go. Oh, we're gonna do the red flower. And you don't have to like deal with anything, so it's just like kind of you set it and you forget about it. So that's that's what I like. Uh, potato is another one I wanted to do. Just the dirt. All right, potato. 
Gonna do baked potato as a food source. I wanna try sugar cane. Can I walk over that cactus without being because I don't have a way to make sugar cane at the moment. I didn't want to set up a farm for it. Uh, where'd it go? Sugar cane seed. Okay, I'm going to have to actually grow a sugar cane to get that to work. And here, let's, let's put the four box down right here. Let's get back up here. Put the other hopper down. So this is for the oak tree. I was, if I can get wood doing this there that works perfect that's two minutes um and the oak tree spits out four different components so it's uh it's um uh, bark i'm not bark uh log sticks i think uh apples and leaves i believe is what it drops we'll find out here in just a second all right and we needed we needed mycelium. I think it's. No, we have to. I can't remember how to do it. Here, right, let's do. Uh, mycelium. Ancient spores on dirt. <laughs> Salification chamber. Alright, maybe I need like silk touch to be able to grab it, so. We'll wait on that. The uh, wandering merchant came by and I bought these red mushrooms from him for uh, em emerald each. Thinking that might be a, a decent way to get some stuff going. But uh, yeah, so that's working. And we have, uh, we have three of them now. Uh, let's let that go. It's almost dark. Uh, let's eat while we wait. I keep getting attacked by stupid uh, bad things, and uh, I I've, I've, I did fix up the uh, some terrain issues that I was having, so I, I filled in the hole all the way around. I don't know if I did that last episode or in between this one and that last one, but then I started adding these secondary platforms, so it kind of it's kind of like a little interesting thing. I don't know. Uh the farm is probably going to be a little less useful, honestly. Uh, I think actually I can go ahead and put carrots. I can just eat carrots raw, so that's kind of nice. What? Oh yeah, I had sugar. I was going to do sugar cane right there, but I don't have it. So let's do a carrot real quick right here. And then boom. There we go. Uh, let's see. Do we have more sand? Because if I have another sand piece, I can... I had a whole chest. I don't know where I put it with uh, some gravel stuff in it. That's weird. Oh, that's right. I put them in the drawer. Never mind. All right. This is sand. We only got 80 sand. That should be fine. Our bucket. Okay. So uh, I think. I can just break this. We have, uh, we don't, I think I'm going to need a placement block underneath that. If I recall right, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing under the farm. It just goes to dirt. So let's try that right here. Oh, okay. I did put one right there. Can I place that? All right, and the home sugar cane seed. Can I just break that? I guess <laughs> sugar cane. Okay, we'll just leave that right there. Uh, I gave this one sugar cane instantaneously, and then we should be able to put it put it over here. There we go. Perfect. And it looks like we only got log out of that tree so far. Uh, one log, one carrot. So it's it's slower than the hopping bonsais from uh, uh the, the other sky block uh, sky factory. So uh, I think it's only four of these. So let's just take five, which will give us five dies. There we go. 
And then we should have all the materials except the B frame. There we go. We can spawn another B. That's good. And okay, so we got those. We can take that off our list. Soul sand. Oh, let's make a piece of soul sand real quick. It's really easy. Um, I was looking through the. I've been like going through here searching for all kinds of stuff, and you just drop it in there, and you get soul sand. It's uh, that easy. Yeah, it's just witch water. This is all mycelium under there, and I just keep filling these up. Uh, it's kind of tedious, but uh, it is working for uh, my needs. I just put another one in whenever I use it. But I'll have to. I'm gonna have to make a bunch of sand. I think I'm trying to. I've been trying to find some way to make it an extremely high amount of it without uh, actually having to do anything. But it doesn't seem possible. All right, we wanted the soul sand for something else later on. I just wanted to get it off my to-do list. All right, so we want to make this bee glass. You can use these, according to the book, to pick up bees. So that is uh, what we need that for. So let's get uh, let's get one of these. Let's actually get two. Do they stack? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, we're gonna probably breed our bees as soon as we can. Uh, we want a campfire. Uh, we need charcoal. There's charcoal. So we want a campfire. This will smoke the bees so that they uh, become docile. Um, we're eventually going to want to make a smoke canister, but I don't know how to get leather yet. I've been uh, looking through all the different things. And I'm probably going to need like a mob farm or something to get zombies to spawn and uh, do it that way because I haven't I haven't seen I've seen one spider because I forgot to light something up so that's that um, we're gonna need that for something else and then we're gonna want to do obsidian fairly soon uh, so we can start upgrading these drawers so all right so let's get let's catch our bee first see if we can get him while he's out because we need to move all this and then build him a new little a little cottage and then we got uh, five Five honeycomb inside there, I believe. So we just need him to come out at some point. Then we'll uh we should probably while we're over here waiting. Let's go ahead and spawn his him a friend. And then we'll catch the new one and then uh, we'll catch him when he comes out. Go, got one. And we just need to catch this other one. And then we'll uh, release them into this hive once we get it enclosed and uh, get all this stuff set up. I think they call it an aviary. Apiary? That's what it's calling. Oh, there he is. Let's get him. All right, we got him. <laughs> okay. So we can then use, uh, since they're in the bottles. We can use uh, shears and get a bunch of honeycomb. So we got five pieces of honeycomb. Uh, what can we use honeycomb to do? All right, villager. Okay, here we go. So we can make upgrades, B shelf. <laughs> a B shelf, I don't know if that's a tier two beehive. So one, two, three. I don't how do you get bees wax? Centrifuge. So centrifuge makes that. So that's the next thing on our list. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and move this. We're gonna take that. We'll have to take all these flowers. So can we there, can we share these? There we go. need those <laughs> the grass anyway for upgrading the next uh next tier okay um so what we want to do is put glass so this is going to be a uh, stone like so and i think i made enough glass to fill this whole entire structure in with glass, so we can see our guy. I 
kind of all over the place. I uh, trying to figure out everything I wanted to do and just trying to get it all done in a most efficient way I can possibly do it. I don't think I made enough glass though, actually. So which way do I want the door to be? Uh, let's leave the door there. Actually, no. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I'll leave the door there. This way I can see what's going on inside and they will be protected from, uh, from creatures. And I still don't know if I need to make one of these for every single uh, type. I know there's like 20 different types or so, maybe more. All right, we didn't make enough glass. Let's go ahead and clear this dirt here. And I did do, uh, since these, uh, I used a single, uh, uh, what are these step things? Uh, slabs. I used slabs. I had to double them up on this layer so that uh, things would not float when I placed them. All right, swap that, and we'll just fill in this dirt. There we go. Perfect. And then we're going to place... I can just place it like right here. That's facing the wrong way. There we go. That's placed. We need more uh, more stuff for that. Uh, we need grass seed. I think I have a bunch of that. If not, I can uh, sieve down a bunch of stuff. All right. Seed, grass, or sort by name. And then I'm going to set a button, uh, the, the uh, hopper planters for all these uh, different seeds. And then I can kind of just ignore them while they uh, generate untold amounts of loot <laughs> that we probably won't use. There's some grass seed. All right, perfect. Uh, how much sand do I have? Probably need to grab that. Probably going to have to make a bunch more. All right, so do... One in each corner. That should grow fine for now. Clear that, that, that. Those can go. Let's drop that, that. So we got our bees. Filled bee. Hopefully they don't die while you carry them around like that. Uh, that can go in there. Just trying to clear out a bunch of this stuff. Okay, so we got the honeycomb. Got another bee jar. All right, let's put let's put that right there. Okay, so we made those. We made we didn't make the scraper. We made the campfire. We need the centrifuge, which should be easy to make. Let's go ahead and sleep. And then uh, I think we have enough iron. I've been saving all my iron. So, all right, we need an iron trap door. One of those. Barrel. Which we're missing barrel slabs. Oh, that's annoying. So, barrel slabs. There we go. Got a barrel. Uh, we needed a second trapdoor and a lever, which gives us a centrifuge, a manual one. Uh, where do I want to put this son of a gun? Uh, okay, <laughs> that's that's a weird looking block. Let's just put that torch back down. Okay, so let's put that in there. Uh, let me read the instructions on that thing. 
Centrifuge, mechanical centrifuge to be able to obtain resources from honeycombs. A beekeeper needs to have a centrifuge early on. A mechanical centrifuge is sufficient enough to get going. Requires bottles to store the liquid honey. A uh, mechanical centrifuge is an entry level with a right click. Okay, so we need bottles. So, I guess I did not prepare enough sand. So, oh, I didn't know I could even click on that like that. There we go, 64. There, we got all the sand. <laughs> I'll have to make more. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work. Okay, let's drop all that in there. Let's take half of that. Drop there. A ton of furnaces. Uh, they all, all the coal I got from sieving <laughs> just goes straight in there. So we're going to put bottles there. Uh, and crank, I guess we click the cranker right here. And... Uh, Oh, it has a thing. Okay. Recipes. Okay, gold. Oh, that's how you get the materials. Okay. That makes sense. So, what's, we're just putting normal honeycomb in there. Where is that at? <laughs> is there even a normal honeycomb? There's 60 pages, jeez. Here, let's just click on honeycomb. There we go. So we'll get sugar and beeswax and 20% chance to get honey from that. All right, so sugar and beeswax. So the tier two is honeycomb and beeswax, and we can make the next tier. Okay, that makes sense. So that's what we need to do. We need to get our bees up and going. So let's do, you know, we got the bottles. Uh, bottles are like this, this, and that. It gives us three. Let's do nine. Yeah, that's all we can make anyway. All right, let's put the nine bottles in there. And how does this thing work? Oh, you hold down a uh, sneak. All right, that worked. We didn't get any honey, but we got uh, some sugar and beeswax. We only got one. <laughs> so this seems... Uh, Seems like it's going to take a little while. All right, let's get more glass. 28 blocks of glass. Let's do that. Oh, I should probably make a door. Door. I guess an oak one is our option. So we'll put the oak door right there. Perfect. Yay, we got one wall. <laughs> uh, that wall looks done. What is that wall? So we just need to fill in this back wall. Ah, uh, it's gonna be tricky to actually hit that. Okay, got that. It's gonna be a nice little room. Our grass is growing in pretty good. Um, I didn't bring it. So there is a bone meal, I think is what I was looking for. Bone meal, I got four bone meal left. And I still have the shears, perfect. So we were gonna get a few flowers in here. And if not, we're just going to cut the grass. All right, we got some flowers now. I don't know how many flowers you need per bee, but... I think two, three flowers should be plenty. Let's do one more. 
Alright, we got a few varieties. Okay, we just need to... What is that? 5x5, five five, right? So we need 25 pieces of glass for the roof and 3 more there. So 28 pieces of glass. Hopefully these are all done. There's 13. 18. All right, that should be plenty. And we finish our little uh, bee sanctuary. <laughs> I don't know if, I, I wanted glass so it made, it looked a little better, but uh, I don't think I'll, if I have to make multiple of these, I, don't, I won't use glass for the next ones. I was kind of hoping I could just let them stay open air, but apparently that's not the way to do it. All right, I think this is fully sealed now. Shut the door. All right, so we can just uh, drop you, drop you. So, they look good. Okay. So they're doing their thing. I think if I have flowers over here, I can actually make them breed. Yeah, there we go. Might be able to feed them. Like a, like you can feed a cow stuff and they'll, uh, oh, oh, crazy guy. Oh, he's trying to get out. There's a hole right there. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to run away. Oh, did the other one run away? Son of a gun. And then we're going to get a item collector, uh, which is right here. An item collector. Item user. Um, I just need to make some obsidian. Uh, I guess we need to make magma. I don't even know how to get that. Um... Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. But that, I'm going to stick it to the back of here. And it should, uh, it should, there's two bees, perfect. It should allow us to um, collect the honey without uh, actually <laughs> being here. Uh, on the quest log, on the quest diagram, it shows this as an automated way to do it. Uh, with the uh, all the us red stone contraption, but... I, I think this will be easier. Just uh, have that go, and it should uh, should work in theory. And then we'll have like an item collector or some other thing if we can uh, get the required minerals and stuff for that. Okay, so we got t two bees. Um, at this point, we should have come. We'll have to come back to this. Uh, to that. Where is my... Do I have a bunch of flowers now? Yeah, so we got sticks, logs. It's very slow. <laughs> we're getting we're getting wood without doing anything. And then we got 21 flowers, so we can turn those into uh, dye. Which will make a... Let us make another one of these. We still need more of these. Let's make like that so we have room for four bees so we're gonna breed breed the two we have plus uh spawn another one it's already getting dark I feel like the days are very short in this game uh after playing some of the other ones and i don't have any witch water over here nor do i have a i guess i can just do it right there i'll have to just catch him as soon as he pops. There we go, I got him. There we go. And then he went into the went in there. So we don't have to worry about that for now. And that should be self contained and they'll uh just collect honey. And eventually we'll have to do uh harvest that honey. 
so let's see here. What do we need to make now? We need obsidian, and obsidian was lava. Water on top of lava, and, a, and one of these. Okay, so this is... I don't know how this is going to work out. Oh, where did I put those buckets? Okay. So let's take one bucket of lava. And we're going to save that bucket. Let's get another bucket just in case. Oh, uh, bucket. Okay, that works. So let's get a bucket of water and a bucket of water. Okay. So let's just uh, pour it on. Really? Oh, I need a barrel. That's why. Okay. Um, I forgot. Let's do it directly in there. Okay, so we put it in the barrel. Why is it not? Uh... Oh. That worked. Just flooded my whole base, though. And knocked all my torches down. Okay. Let me fix that real quick before we have a uh, monster issue. Why is that one? Why is that one spot lit? Not lit. There we go. Okay, so that worked. We got a we got one block of obsidian. We need three. But this is kind of uh, kind of annoying that it's gonna run off like that. So let me uh, let me uh, build another one. Build a barrel, and we'll take some cobblestone with us. Okay. Do I have a flat area? Right there. Okay. Let's move that. Place you right there. Just make like a little pool around it. Like so, and that should I should prevent any issues. So we can drop a bucket in. And then where's our lava? Just gotta shift or I guess control down. There we go. And that worked perfectly. All right, let's put more uh, more in there, and let's grab another bucket of lava, and put more in there. I need a better fuel source, and uh, I can't figure out. There, there was a way when I first made these that I could see like all the fuel sources. Like I click on the barrel, right, and then I right click it. I don't see the fuel sources anymore. I don't know why. So that's, I don't know, it's not, it's not even, the, that's not even the right, uh, item. Crucible is the item we're actually talking about. So yeah, right here, I don't see, oh, there they are. That's like the first time I've gotten it. Okay, so what is the best? <laughs> Block of uranium is 5x, 1x, 4x for nothing. So what is a block of uranium? Uranium ignits. Uranium dust. Here, let's make a engineer. Let's put that on our list. That's weird. I didn't see that before when I was looking. It looks like this block of uranium might make the uh, conversion faster. So let's, uh, let's just try to add that to our list, and we'll we'll deal with that in a minute. Just get our. Uh, we're going so it's nice that we don't have to like go fetch the water every time. Oh, there we go. So that's four actually. So item user. Uh, 
I don't think I can actually make magma blocks right now, can I? So that's cream. How do you get cream? Blaze platter and slime. Where am I getting slime from in this weird world? Sl <laughs> I need slime to make it there. Solidification slime balls. Yeah, those are all from slime. What am I getting? Green, green slime block? Cactus gives me green dye. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, if I can't make slime, then I'm... So, different slime. Oh, here we go. Red mushroom in which water gives me slime. Okay. I do have th four red mushrooms. Uh, how can I get... How can I get this so I can carry it around and put it in my... Uh, my hopping bonsai. <laughs> that way I can uh, kind of do that and grow more mushrooms. Hmm. All right, I guess that's a that's a next time thing. All right, so where are we at right now? We uh, let's go today. Let's breed these. Uh, let's breed these bees real quick. Uh, that's more. All right, all our bees are. Out and about, look at them. Oh, they're all like wild and crazy, having fun. I'm gonna go in. All right, we're gonna breed you and you. There we go. They're in love. Oh, and we got a baby bee. <laughs> well, not so baby, I guess. There we go. So we have four bees. Our honey level is almost to where we need to be. So they're happy bees. They're good to go in. We have a baby bee. So that'll be four. Um, we need to make the next tier. Tier. Uh, hit the right key. Tier two, which is uh, the beeswax and honeycomb. So that's going to take a little while of churning away at this process here. Uh, hopefully... Uh, uh, what I'll do is I'll see if I can get this item uh, item user set up. And that should be able to click on that. And uh, harvest all of my uh, honeycomb as it comes out. And then uh, won't have to deal with the smoking of the bees and or catching them. I think right now we'll have to catch the bees and get them out of the uh, box and stuff like that. It's going to be a little... That'll be a little bit of work, but... Uh, if we can get that, we can breed another one. We're just going to need a lot of bees. That's <laughs> really what this uh, this whole thing boils down to. And we got 64 grass now, so that's pretty nice. Uh, let's drop that in there. And we do have four obsidian now, so we should be able to make... Make up all these things here. So this one, the magma is the uh, only tricky part. We do have the four red mushrooms, but... I want to figure out how to get uh, get the uh, witch water into the mycelium inside of there. Hopefully I don't need like silk touch or something like that to pick up the block. So we'll see. But uh, with that, I think we're going to bid a farewell for today. And uh, I'm going to get prepped for the next one. We have... Uh, we have a whole <laughs> we have a whole quest line here to do. Uh, there's another centrifuge to do, and uh, oh, tier one, two, three beehives, ape, uh, apiary, apiary storage. I don't even know what this stuff's for. Uh, then we need to start making our way through the, all the bees. Uh, let's see here, drawers. Still some more drawer things we can do. Uh, I think the upgrades all require obsidian, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to uh, make obsidian. In uh, mass, um, this this thing seemed pretty awesome. Uh, I want to figure out how this works and go through that stuff. Uh, there's a new there's a storage system we can get into eventually, and there's AE2. I like AE2 a lot. I use that in uh, 
Sky Factory should be kind of tedious if you can't auto craft and auto farm stuff. So that'll be interesting to see. And then there's this this one called Mechanism. I think that is uh, all these machines. I remember them from Sky Factory. So bad uh, monsters. I guess I have to go kill a hundred of everything. 40, 40 withers and twenty ender dragons. So uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be interesting. And then I guess uh, there's an, uh, another, the end, and a mining dimension. So that's something else to go look at. And then on the start one, it tells you progression. So, yeah, we need to do a bunch of stuff to unlock some of these other ones. So we got a lot to do. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be fun. I'm going to start working on getting ready for the next one, but uh, thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.